Good morning. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope you've got a good cup of strong coffee with you and a comfortable chair. And so the fruit of the Spirit is. And the fruit of the Spirit is. We began this a few weeks ago. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. <clears throat> the fruit of the Spirit is patience this morning. And as we think about patience, um, we can connect that to kindness and goodness that I'll get to next week. Um, these three are like oil in, in your car or your lawnmower that enables us to live together that enables us to live together um, in community and get along with each other and tolerate each other. Um, patience, kindness, and goodness. And so for this morning, the fruit of the Spirit is patience. I've heard, I've heard it said many times that um, you should never ever pray for patience, that the moment you pray for patience, you are in for it that you're going to get dumped on in the worst sort of way. All sorts of terrible things are going to happen to you in order to teach you patience. I don't suppose that's true, but I've heard it. It's worth a good laugh. Never ever pray for patience because when you do, you are definitely in for it. Um, <clears throat> and as we're thinking about patience here, there are really two ways that we can think about patience. Um, one more important than the other. There is one sort of patience, which is um, how well you wait for something. So you're in the drive through line of Bojangles. I didn't, I would have mentioned Chick-fil-A, but we don't have a Chick-fil-A in, in, in Hamlet or Rockingham, wish we did. So you're in drive through line of Bojangles and the car in front of you doesn't move fast enough, do you get really ill and blow the horn and shake your fist at the person in front of you? Um, you're at a traffic light, the light turns green, and the car in front of you doesn't go fast enough, do you lay on the horn, shake your fist, scream and yell? Um, that's one sort of patience. And, um, you know, clearly if if we are really enlivened by the Spirit of God, that's not going to describe us much. You know, laying on the horn if somebody is too slow in the drive through line. But there is another form of patience that is probably more important, and that's patience in terms of a long-suffering. The King James would use that word some, more modern translations don't use it that much. Well, you can think of patience in terms of long suffering. How long do you tolerate something? Um, how long do you tolerate something, um, so, tolerate some wrong before you um, seek retribution? That is more the patience that Paul is getting at here. Think patience here in terms of how long you're willing to bear with something, to bear with some perceived abuse or insult without getting even. This is a, um, it's a term that's used actually a lot in, in the Bible to refer to either God or to Christ. Um, that they are patient with us. And if you read through the Gospels, and in the Gospels, particularly the Gospel of Mark, the disciples come off rather clueless sometimes, and we find um, every so often Jesus says something like this, how, much, how long am I to bear with you? Or as we might put it, how long do I have to put up with y'all? Like, come on, boys, don't, why don't you get this? Um, and Jesus was patient with them, even when they were sort of clueless. Um, so, 
patience is used to refer to Christ or to God frequently because God is patient with us. God is patient with us. And we should all feel thankful every day that God is patient with us. That God doesn't seek retribution against us every time we every time we sin against God. God is patient with us. And in this regard, this patience in this way is closely akin to grace, which is that most godlike of attributes. Patience is it's akin to grace. And to refer back to the Gospels, you know, what did Jesus say? If someone asks you to go with them one mile, go two. And the disciples come up to him, Jesus, how often should we for, how many times should we forgive? Three times, which is what um, the law had said in the Old Testament. Um, let's see. Uh, how many times should we forgive? Seven, which is better than the law had said. And Jesus said 77 times, or 70, 70 times seven, depending upon your translation. But that's, that is patience. That is grace. Um, it's bearing with something. It's tolerating something without seeking retribution, without trying to get even. And that's what Jesus is getting at when saying, go the extra mile. Should I forgive 77 times? And he says, no, forgive 77 times. Apply that to the world we live in now. Apply that to the world we live in now. The current climate, everyone is so quick to be offended. Everyone is so quick to judge, to cancel. And what does Paul say? Paul says the fruit of the Spirit is patience. The fruit of the Spirit is patience. Now somebody says something on Facebook or on any social media or even in our face, hold back. Hold back on yelling the insult. Hold back on retaliating. Because the fruit of the Spirit is patience. The fruit of the Spirit is patience in terms of long-suffering. If we are truly led by the Spirit, then we're going to go the extra mile. We're going to forgive the extra times because that's how God does with us. We're going to do this because that's way, that is the way God deals with us. God deals with us with patience. You know, by golly, God's got to have a bunch of patience to put up with the likes of us. I um, mean, so we should have patience with each other. And if we are impatient and intolerant and quick to judge and quick to hate and quick to be offended at every turn, how truly and fully can we say that the Spirit of God lives and dwells in us? So the fruit of the Spirit is patience. And the fruit of the Spirit is patience, my friends. Relax. Let the Spirit of the living God dwell in you and fill you so that you can be patient and long-suffering. What did Paul say in 1 Corinthians 13? The love is patient Love is kind. Love is patient. Love is patient. The chief of the fruit of the Spirit is, is love. And love is patient, my friends. Hope you all have a great Wednesday. See you next week.